Okay, so today I'll be painting this uh, Jay Lee's famous uh, walking in the rain painting. Uh, hey, be sure to uh, watch this video till the end for some bonus feature for you. I guess sort of like a reactionary painting. Um, of course, his painting, the canvas size was a little bit bigger than the one that I'm using right now, which is my first mistake. So, uh, as I start to uh, work on this, uh, the ground portion of it, uh, representing leaves, uh, red leaves here. Uh, now that I think about it, I should have uh, used uh, a little bit less paint, um, considering that I'm using a smaller canvas cons compared to what Jay Lee did. And also the, the fact that I was uh, using a mask, masking on top of this canvas, smaller canvas. Yeah, it's kind of limits my real estate a little bit, but you know, just to kind of, uh, as part of my uh, journey to to get better as an artist uh, in terms of painting and choosing colors. And I promise in the future, I'll, I'll try to get much better in terms of the choice that I make with colors, but I'm just gonna using a, this, this uh, old use, old uh, brush to, uh, uh, fill in this real estate and here it is a little sponge uh, Jay Lee likes to use this often so I'm just gonna try in the sound and see in terms of originality of course uh, this is not an original painting by any stretch of the means but just to help me uh, get better and here is a little uh, foil that I'm using I, I hope you like the sound of this uh, Jay Lee also likes to use the foil to uh, kind of a blend in these colors so that's what I'm doing here I'm trying them out and see how it feels but a little bit uncomfortable for me because uh, uh, it's not a usual uh, painting tool that, that I'm accustomed to. Uh, blend this in here, a little pathway that uh, he likes to put on in his painting. So I'm just going to try this out. And as I, uh, uh, as I watch his video and uh, try to do the same here. And a little bit of white here, but um, um, I should have probably used a little bit more gray and also a little bit more brown to kind of help blend in all these colors together. But, um, uh, you know, just a part of the process trying to get better here. And a little the tree portion of it, I'm just trying out what he did here from bottom to up a tree trunk. And uh, a little bit too awkward, of course, in the beginning, but I should have probably added more water to make it uh, blend in much better but uh, that's how he does it here much better than I did here but and a little bit of a smaller brush to add a little bit more uh, uh, depth to this uh, in a way and a little bit more trunk is needed I thought with this composition using a little bit of uh, toothpick I'm not sure if he uses a toothpick in his painting but uh, I like using uh, toothpick for things like this to just to help blend in the colors uh, if you will but um, you see a lot of paintings out there like home decor style paintings that you see maybe in a Hobby Lobby or what have you that uses a gray kind of background if you will and then uh, just to highlight it use a red and different values of red of course to try to uh, give a little accent but uh, uh, now that I look at this painting I should probably use a little bit more variations of red uh, along with a um, little bit more variations of gray mix that with uh, maybe I would probably add it more uh, more beige dark dark brown beige to help um, bring about some differences in uh, variations of colors uh, in terms of overall because colors are very kind of important in terms of um, trying to uh, create a painting that you want to actually want to hang uh, in your room so uh, that's one of the things that I try to uh, kind of focus on and study and let's see, uh, Jay Lee also likes to use a little bit of Q-tip as well. So I'm trying out his technique using a bunch of Q-tips. Now the mistakes that I, that I, that I see uh, making is that uh, he kind of spreads out his Q-tips um, evenly and uh, so that uh, it makes much more uh, of a visual, visually balanced look. But uh, here I made a mistake of clumping, grouping all those Q-tips together. It's quite come out well. So here I'm just gonna use a little dryer to speed up my time to let it dry, help dry better uh, so that I can move on to the next step. And here, uh, this is uh, the centerpiece. Uh, I'm just gonna use a little figure. I'm really bad with humans <laughs> drawing people, but I'm doing my best just to suggest, make a suggestion here. It doesn't have to be perfect. And a little umbrella scene here with a little brush like, uh, like the Jay Lee did. 
with his painting but i'm just using the paper piece of paper like that he did uh sometimes you can use a credit card or something that's like you know very thin and to just to uh similar just to indicate uh raindrops as you can see here and just a little dabbing here and there now that i look at it you know i would have uh, used the background a little bit darker to let this raindrops pop out more <laughs> Let's see, I think that's uh, about it. Uh, sometimes you can go really overboard and uh, do a little too much, but that's always a balance, as you can see. But you'll learn that as you um, do more painting. So here's a masking tape, unmasking it, um, and very gently. Uh, so what I try to do is that paint that I use in order to have a clean and nice um, finish. I try to use a lot of a thick paint. Viscos Viscosity-wise, I like to use a lot of thick paint. Uh, away from the masking tape into the canvas so that the finished result as you can see finishes up real nice and I'm really proud of this uh, finishing touch with the masking tape I'm really I really like that but of course in terms of originality well this is not an original painting but I just wanted to uh, as a part of practice uh, getting better uh, you gotta you sometimes uh, learn from other artists and here it is the finished piece and I hope you like this piece and I hope to see you again and as I promised, here's a little uh, bonus feature for you. My daughter, here's my daughter, second one, uh, on this piano playing this for you. 